Hi guys and welcome to this video on solving simultaneous equations using a chaos calculator. Now if you watched my previous mammoth video that was nearly 30 minutes long, I know, <laughs> then you will know that we can use substitution and elimination to solve simultaneous equations. But wouldn't it be easier if we could use our CAS? And as it turns out, you can. It's freaking awesome to be able to do it. Now, in many cases, you can use your CAS to check. If you're watching this from a different year level where you're having to do it by hand, then your CAS can be used as a check to make sure that you are correct. And it only takes, I think, about 15 seconds to put the equations in. Now, my name is Darren Masguru. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, can you do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel? Never gonna be rich and never gonna be famous, but it does mean that I know that people are watching. And surprisingly, I don't think many people watch my channel at all. So just clicking subscribe lets me know. Also, there's massguru.com where you can download lesson notes, time codes, exam questions, watch the videos, search them, and so, so much more than you can do on YouTube. All right, so what we're gonna to do today, as I say, know how to solve simultaneous equations using a CAS calculator. What is a simultaneous equation? It is two straight lines uh, that effectively cross at a point of intersection. And yes, as I've said before, that line there, or that little dot there, that minus one comma three, is the point of intersection. Now again, what is that? It is the point on that line, or those both lines that are exactly the same. And that's really, really important. For both of those lines, at that one point, the x values and the y values are exactly the same, which is why we can use simultaneous equations or the, the things we did in our previous video to help us. Because at one point, we can use a trick of maths or a, a funky thing of maths to allow us to find it. But as we found out, it's fairly time intensive. Now, if you're using the Cambridge General Maths textbook or any of the Cambridge series, you're very, very lucky. I think it's a phenomenal textbook theorist. And thank you very much to Cambridge for allowing me to use them. Now, why is this important? What is this flowchart all about? Well, it's actually there to provide you an indication of what to use and when in terms of solving simultaneous equations by hand. But we're not using it by hand, but I just wanted to let you know it was there. We're gonna use our CAS. All right, so when you use your CAS, you're going to solve a system of equations. Wouldn't it be nice if they actually said simultaneous equations? Well, simultaneous equations means there's just two of them. But imagine if we could solve lots of equations. And in fact, you can. Later on, you're going to be solving three equations and four equations and blah, 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 blah. And if you're doing methods or any of those other subjects, then you'll absolutely be solving systems of equations. And as you can see here, if you click on one on the TI Inspire, and I don't have the Casio class pad anymore. I'm using the TI Inspire. So um, I'll do different instructions for the Casio class pad. Yours is much easier. You just hit, I think it's uh, math one, and then there's a little thing for you. But anyway actions and then algebra and then solve and then finally uh, solve a systems of equations so it's four clicks um, which is why strangely the chance but everyone goes one three one what would that be one yeah one three one one i can never remember those things but anyway so solving system of equations then what comes up then it comes up a dialog box and it will say well how many equations do you want to solve and in this situation because we're doing simultaneous equations you're going to solve two so you put two, and then it says the variables. Now, if you've watched my previous video, do you remember at the very, very end, that last question had an A and a B in it? Yeah, it's there to try and trick you. But in this situation, we're just gonna say X comma Y. For every one of your variables, you separate it with a comma. So the calculator knows. It's just using calculator language. And what comes up is this rather funky thing here. Now that's a template, really. Um, and if you've got the Casio class pad, that's pretty much straight away what comes up. It looks slightly different. I think it's got a line, but the general idea is there. And what that says now is, with the two dotted box, put in your two equations you want to solve. All right, so I've just chosen 24X plus 12Y equals 36 and 45x plus 30y equals 90. All right, so I've just taken those two equations from the example somewhere, and then all I do once I put the equations in is I hit enter, and lo and behold, out comes x equals zero and y equals three. But remember, in this situation, because you're finding points of inter intersections, you'd probably write, want to write that as zero comma three. Now, a word of warning, when you look at this particular example, you've got to be very, very careful that you put those dots in. Don't just type in 24x into your calculator. Your calculator isn't going to understand that. You want to do 24 times x. So many people make mistakes using their CAS because they don't put the times in. While you and I know that there is a kissy-kissy between the 24 and the x, calculator doesn't. It's a dumb 
piece of machinery. So you have to put all those times is in. If your calculator comes up with errors or doesn't solve it, then just go back and look for those times is. Now, obviously, in this situation, we could then check on a graph to make sure my answer is right. And again, we've done this. I've shown you how to put these equations into a CAS calculator and solve them. I'm using desmos.com to be able to do this nice and quickly, but you should really get to use your calculator so you become a gun at it. And again, what have I done? I've put the two equations in, 24x plus 12y equals 36, 44, uh, 45x plus 30y equals 90, and lo and behold, out comes my solution of 0, 3. Because remember, when you're solving these equations, you're doing so to find a point of intersection. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Yes, this is the end of another video. If you haven't already done so, can you click on my subscribe button? Yes, it doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I know that you are watching. Yes, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I feel like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. And then, yes, there is mathsguru.com, of which you can see a still of now. And what is over there? Well, all the videos ordered by textbook, ordered by topic. You can search for the videos. You can download notes time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Yeah, it's absolutely free to join. So I'm done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in another video. Give me a shout out to your mates if you can. I just want to make sure that everyone finds maths interesting and easy. All right, take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye. Stay safe.